your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First Updates Now is supported by Kettering University. Discover why Kettering University is the number one choice for many first students and schedule your tour at Kettering.edu. And by Stryker Careers. Help create the next medical breakthrough in a fantastic internship or career when you visit careers.stryker.com. Let's bring in our first team for this evening coming in. I just actually drove right past their city uh, today because I was coming back from uh, Michigan at RA3D. Uh, it's going to be the legendary Team 71, Team Hammond. Uh, Greg, I don't know about you, but Team Hammond to me uh, is a team. When I grew up, they won three out of four championships when I grew up, but and yeah. definitely carrying that legacy. I, I, I'm almost, I'm still amazed that Team Hammond joined the Open Alliance because you guys were always one of the teams when I was growing up that was like super secret and always going to come out with like the most killer crazy thing like oh my gosh how did team 71 come up with that so it's awesome to see you join the open alliance and uh we can't wait to hear about what you what you guys have been up to in the first two days of the season yeah welcome guys you mind introducing yourselves hello my name is jay morales i'm an 11th grader i'm a uh, programmer and driver on the team i also do some of the uh, robot design my name is andrew i'm a Louder. i'm a 12th grader and I do robot, um, robot building and build building. Well, we're delighted to have you uh, both on and talking about your progress uh, so far and talking about, of course, an open alliance is all about uh, things that work, things that don't work and what we learn from them in chat. If you have any questions for any of these teams, post that if you're watching live in chat. We'll try to get it as many as we can. Taking that first update is now helps a whole lot. Uh, so, uh, Team Hammond, why don't you talk a little bit about, I know, uh, first couple of days, uh, you had a little bit of difficulties meeting. Can you tell us just a little bit going into uh, kickoff and uh, uh, the build season, kind of first thoughts on Rapid React and what you've been able to accomplish so far? Well, our first thoughts was that the game, looked, the shooting part looked a lot um, similar to last year's game. It was shooting in the upper and lower range. But we thought that the climbing for this year was going to be a, a more difficult challenge than previous years and we knew it was going to take a lot more time to get like our final product on it so far in the past couple of days that we've been meeting we've already kind of like planned out some of the prototypes we want to try and we've been coming up with um shooters that we want to start making pretty soon and you're trying to talk about our building. so um this is one of the rollers that a prototype on the sides here. These are adjustable bearing um, mounts. mounts, adjustable bearing mounts used to, for, the, for use for the prototype. Yeah, and I'm going to bring up, uh, uh, you guys uh, submitted a, a screenshot of your CAD drawing on there, and we can see those uh, rollers into it. Can you talk to us a little bit more uh, about the CAD drawing and how those rollers and, and what you've been able to prototype for it? So, so basically the bumper, we want to make it wide enough to be able to hold on two balls, take two balls at once. And the wooden pieces you see right there are used to basically make one ball rise above the other. So our shooter does not get jammed when two balls go in. And so we only want to be able to shoot one at a time, but still be able to bring in two at once. And the uh, tube you see on the side, those are gonna move and they're gonna spin and they're gonna bring the ball up and shoot it out to the top. So Greg, what do you what do you make of this on your first yeah. impressions and any any questions for you on 71? Uh, so first of all, I love the use of uh, PVC pipe and it uh, looks like laser cut brackets. So it's a great prototyping tools, things that you can build really quickly with and iterate. So is that, so your, your goal with this prototype is to, are you trying to, um, work on the ball path or are you trying to tune in the positions of the rollers or what's your, what's the goal for this prototype for you? So we want to, for our shooters, we have a higher um, arch when we shoot the balls out. So basically to help with defense and the compression when it's shooting out and, um, the compression for the intake. and the compression for the intake as well. Okay. So yeah, so when you're so when you're pulling the ball in, you're going to go for an over the bumper intake. So you're going to try to roll over the balls and bring them up over the bumper. Yes. So the compression between 
the roller and the floor really matters and then the roller and the bumper really matters so that that all kind of has a smooth pathway right yeah. yes so so the, your idea is using all those brackets that you've laser cut you have the ability to adjust things move things around and try to figure it out um are you planning on using like that same type of roller design in your final design or is this just a prototype step to get there if it's successful then yeah if not we're we're open to trying out new prototypes as this, the build season goes on okay have you have you uh tried any different types of grip material on the uh on the rollers yet i see it was just still pvc in the cad model have you tried anything different things that interact with the ball and what have you learned well we want to be able to try like other materials we haven't like picked one just yet we're planning on using velcro pretty soon because the velcro we think can work well with the material the balls are made out of mm -hmm. and think it'll help us when we're shooting them out or picking them up yeah we've all i think uh i think that it's kind of universal did you guys have those little like velcro catch pad paddles when you were little with yeah. tennis balls and things like that so was that one of the inspirations for yeah. velcro on this yeah, I do want to take a question that came in uh, from chat, by the way. Uh, JH says, uh, what kind of different materials are you using for the bumpers because of, because of how slippery the ball is? Nothing special. Uh, nothing special, just the uh, regular metal that we've been using the past seasons. Awesome. And another question uh, coming in, by the way, from Thundera Arcanus. Uh, what type of grabbing arm, if any, do you plan on using to climb the rungs? Yeah, think about it. <laughs> think something more like a telescoping that we use in the 2018 season. Something like similar to that design. Yeah. So what's your what's your overall strategy or your 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 uh, team's thinking in terms of climbing right now? Which uh, bar level are you thinking about uh, trying to go for? Uh, right now, we mostly want to get to. Um, High, the high and transversal, but we're yeah. going to try to do as much as we can so far. And then if we have enough time, then we're going to continue to make our design to get to those higher levels. All right. So, so iteration is part of your process. You're going to you're going to start and say, we're going to start hanging on like the four or the six point. And then as the season goes on, if you have time, you're going to add on the, the extra levels. And it's a it's a pretty good strategy. Um, uh, we do have a couple more questions uh, coming in. I want to grab Red Sea Gaming asking, how, has, uh, how or has the current pandemic posted any challenges for Team 71? Well, due to the pandemic, um, a lot of members, you know, they're not be able to make it because they're sick. And so we make sure to keep them at home and we always keep a mask on. We're sanitized. Um, for our kickoff, we did it virtually. So nobody was in the room um, worried about getting sick. And um, we've had some meetings online as well when we knew we couldn't have enough people making it in just so everyone can join the meetings and we could all be there as a team. How is, uh, you know, 71, once again, for, for me, old boomer coming in, like, I mean, I think of, you know, way, you know, way back in my high school days, that sort of thing. Um, when you look back at, like, the legacy of 71, like, wh what do you know as students, like, in regards to, like, what 71, you know, is and has done? Obviously, there's many blue banners right behind you uh, for things. But, like, when you're a student coming in, like, what do you learn about for that? Well, we learned that the team, when we first joined, the team was more like, Everyone was really close, and they had, good, had a good bond. They're more like a family than a team. The coaches are always super supportive. The mentors are always willing to help. And then as the season goes on, the students just get closer and closer, and they just build a stronger bond with one another. And then, like, for the history, we want to, like, we want to go for our next championship in honor of one of our past coaches. We want to do this this season for him. Yeah, talking about Mr. Noble, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah, obviously a, a big loss to the first community and uh, uh, thoughts definitely with uh, Team 71 uh, for that. Uh, a couple other questions that I want, do want to grab. Uh, uh, Jai says, uh, asking again, uh, has uh, 71 prototyped the shooter at all? And uh, can you talk about uh, or anything in general regards to the ball interaction uh, with the shooter potentially? Like, is it slippery or anything like that? We want to do a single wheel shooter, but this is only our first practice, like first practice um, in person. So we haven't been running around to make an actual prototype of it yet. But within the next week, we plan on making one. 
Have there, uh, have in your first practice, I, I assume that you've like inflated the two balls that were in the kit of hearts. Have you, you know, just in like, you know, taking wheels and touching to them or touching them, touching them to each other or things like that. Is there anything that you've learned about the interaction of the game pieces to each other that you want to share with everybody else? The balls, they're a lot, a lot bouncier than last year's. Even we didn't inflate them fully just to test how bouncy they are. And just bouncing them from four feet off the ground, they bounce up pretty much, uh, pretty high. So we know it's going to be a little bit harder if we're going to catch them. So we're probably going to just pick them up off the floor after they start rolling. You can't catch them. Well, chat, we do have a couple uh, more minutes still with uh, Team 71. Should you have any more questions uh, in particular that you want to ask uh, this team in, as part of the Open Alliance? And once again, if you're interested in learning more about the Open Alliance, exclamation TOA if you're watching live uh, in chat or, of course, search Open Alliance on Chief Delphi. Uh, to get more information on that. Uh, one more question coming in. Uh, Thunder asking, uh, what regionals or events is 71 uh, attending this year? We're going to be attending Tippecanoe and Columbus. That's right, because 70, yeah, I always think 71 Chicago, right, because you're also close to that, but uh, part of the Indiana district uh, for that as well, so very uh, exciting. A um, couple more questions uh, coming in, Scotty McCrown. Uh, are you worried about the wear that the Velcro will have on game pieces? Well, as we prototype, um, we'll find out how the Velcro affects the balls. Um, another question coming in from Dara asking, uh, in regards to scoring uh, for the uh, balls in particular, are you guys looking high goal, low goal? What's the thought process and strategy behind that? We're looking more towards the high goal to score more points and to be able to shoot faster up into the air. And so it'd be easier to shoot above the defense. Does your, does your team have a, a target on like the number of balls that you'd like to get to in a match? Or cycles. We want to do about like 16 during the match. So eight, eight cycles of two balls. Is it, and then yeah. does that include, do, do you have anything special planned for autonomous with that? Is that include for autonomous? autonomous we want to add a shooter to the back of our robot. So during autonomous, we can shoot one ball, back our robot up, grab another and shoot it back to get more, another point. Okay. So you're thinking that your, like your intake would be on the front side and the shooter was out the back or vice versa, depending on how you're doing. Uh, but, the intake but, and the shooter would both be on the same side. They'll be on the back. Both, they're both or, they're on the, or they could be in opposite directions. We haven't we're fully decided yet what we want to do. Okay. Um, is there anything that you uh, have found surprising as you've read through the rules, like any, any specific rules that maybe um, you guys are unsure of that uh, maybe you want to ask questions about too, or things that you're thinking about with the game itself. Not particularly right now. All right. Well, 71, uh, time always goes very fast uh, on these shows, and we really appreciate you taking the time uh, to come in and tell us about your progress. Uh, we're going to be uh, coming, bringing you back on in a few weeks to check on your updates. But, of course, if you want to stay up to date on what 71 is doing, make sure you check out uh, their build blog that's going to be populating on Chief Delphi and on the uh, or Open Alliance uh, Discord as well, too. 71, thanks a lot. Uh, good luck uh, for the uh, rest of Rapid Rec. Can't wait to check in with you in just a few weeks. Thanks to Striker Careers for their support in this video. First, alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Over one-third of Kettering's current students are former robotics team members. Go pro at Kettering University and get a free t-shirt. Students in grades 8 through 12 and located in the continental U.S. scan the QR code and complete the form by January 31st, 2022 and receive more information about Kettering. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.